a roadie house uh, museum where we're talking to the cast and crew of Edward Mybridge. Uh, a bunch of uh, really bright lights from Vancouver's film and theater community are getting together to tell the true historical story from filmmaking's distant past of Edward Mybridge. I've pitched the movie to a lot of people and they always say, oh, I don't know the name, but they know the subject matter. And uh, I think he will be a lot more famous after this film comes out. Mm -hmm. But I think because people like Edison took uh, part of his inventions and Edison has the credit for making the motion picture. Mm -hmm. And yet Edward has the, the, the uh notoriety and like the sort of the the, the weird personal life <laughs> i know and not many people know that side of the story like most people know about his photographs they know about occident the horse i think that's probably his most famous thing it's the first time motion was captured on camera but they don't know the uh the seedy side of his life tell and me once a bit they about do that. They, they everybody keeps saying like i can't believe there's not a movie made of him yet tell me about the seedy side of his life well, he married a woman who was much younger than him. He had this beautiful wife, and uh, she had an affair with another man. And uh, they had a Edward and his wife had a son together. And one day he finds a photo with the name of another man written on the photo. And he uh, tracks down the other man and uh, kills him. And then he pleads insanity, but he gets off for justifiable homicide. And he's the last case of that in the United States. Why is this guy not famous? Well, I think he is famous, but in smaller circles. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, I'm working on a couple animation series and talking with the animators there. They all study all of his artwork. But he's just not mainstream, but he is uh, famous in smaller circles. Yes. Mike. <laughs> Michael Eklund, do go on. I mean, had you heard of Edward Mybridge before these two guys came to you? I say? actually had not heard of Edward Mybridge until uh, I was approached with the script, Kyle and Josh, and then immediately I did all my research and realized why I didn't know more about Edward Mybridge, because he is the pioneer of moving pictures. So um, I went uh, and did my homework from then on, and he's probably one of the most fascinating characters that I've been fortunate enough to 